Life Play by J. Gabrielle Chapter 1 Zen Garden Lily awoke to a cold nose on her cheek. She opened her eyes and said, Hello, Pot! The black Bombay kitty stretched out a paw and gently touched Lily's nose. This is how each morning started, usually before 2 a.m. Baby Pot would wake Lily to clean her cat box and fill the food bowl. Lily turned on the red lamplight as she passed through the living room to the bathroom. She quickly sat on the toilet and released a long, warm stream, which relaxed the muscles in her abdomen. Mmm! Ah! Oh. She released the universal sound of creation and relief. She sat and was grace grateful to be alive again. She could hear Nicky through the Jack and Jill door. The snoring told Lily that her new roommate was still alive, too. It was going to be a great day. She completed her morning ablutions and joined Pot, who was waiting next to the coffee maker. Lily started the machine and continued back to her room. She turned on the red lamp above the cat box and knelt in front of it. She removed the various clumps and raked the tiny clay granules like a miniature rock garden. Back and forth, round and round, the cat meowing roused her from her meditation. All right, all right, Lily told the cat. It's all yours. Meditation time is done, she said to Pot, who paid no attention and continued inspecting her freshly manicured potty box. Lily got up off the floor and sat in her rocking chair. She filled her pipe and inhaled the day's first medication. She felt energized with the first puff. Ah! Oh. Lily sat in the dark and inhaled her medication for a few more moments. She enjoyed the peace and quiet before the world woke up. She stretched and twisted and reached until she was sure everything was in working order. Maybe I'll walk around the lake today, she thought. Thanks to the cannabis, her parts didn't hurt so much today. She felt brave enough to go out in public, even. Lily wasn't really much of a people person, part of her anxiety disorder. She knew, as an older person, that she needed to get outside and catch some vitamin D and fresh air. Get her heart pumping a little faster and stronger. She wanted to be around for a long time, and would do whatever it took to stay reasonably healthy in mind and body. She was blessed to now have Nicky to go on her little outings. Hope she won't mind me tossing these little seeds out of the car as we go, she wondered. It'll be such fun, she whispered to Pot, who had taken Lily's place in the rocking chair. Lily settled on the couch and decided to check the TV to see what was going on in the world while she slept. At the same time, she turned on her tablet to access the Twitters in case she decided to comment on any of the day's newest news reports. To be continued.